Forest Inventory Part 3, Plot Establishment Tools, brought to you by the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources and the Forest Stewardship Program. This video is Part 3 of a four-part series designed to help forest landowners understand how to manage their forest lands and to enable them to conduct an inventory of trees in their forest. Hi, I'm Susie Coker. I'm a forester for the University of California Cooperative Extension. On this video, I'll discuss a few more tools that are helpful for inventorying your forest and establishing inventory plots. A large fiberglass measuring tape with a reel, a compass, and a cruise vest. I'll start with a flexible fiberglass measuring tape, which is useful for laying out plots and measuring their radius. So another important tool to have in your kit is a tape. So this is a measuring tape, but it's a little bit different than a regular measuring tape you might use for um, any kind of construction. The difference is that it has uh, a different scale. So this is in feet and tenths of feet. I have meters on the other, so you can use either according to your applications. It rolls up, it's rugged, you can use it in the woods. Um, the reason you might want to use it is that you can um, uh, get a known distance from a tree. So if you want to measure the height, getting 66 feet away is important. You'd use a tape like this to do that. Also, it's great for installing an inventory plot of a known diameter. Okay, so another important component of your home inventory kit is a compass. A compass is useful anytime you need to lay out a plot grid across a forest land. You want to know where the plot is. You're going to have to be able to use a compass if it's a large property to find it going through the woods. The other important use for it is when you're taking an inventory plot, you want to, by convention, start in the same direction each time so that when you go around, you know you've counted all of your trees. By convention, you would start north. I've got north on my compass, I can dial it in, and now this way is north, and then I'm gonna count all the trees going around the compass. A good compass is helpful for navigation and maintaining a heading when laying out plots. Plots should be set up on a grid or consistent directional heading across your property. The layout should place plots in areas that most represent the trees and fuels in your forest. To use a compass, spin the outer bezel dial to set the heading that you want, for example, 200 degrees. Then simply rotate your body until the needle shows, quote, red in the shed, meaning that the red and black ends of the magnetic needle align with the orienting marks underneath. Then the index line of the compass will be pointing towards your desired direction of travel, in this case, 200 degrees southwest. Okay, so now I've put all those tools I've just described in my cruise vest. So a vest, cruise vest is a vest that you wear while cruising, which means taking inventory in the forest. Uh, I've got my uh, compass, my clinometer. You can put lots of other things in here because there's so many pockets. Here's my tape, here's my D-tape. I can put my lunch, my water bottle, my data sheet in the back. And the other advantage is that uh, you can be easily seen. We hope you now feel comfortable using a fiberglass measuring tape and compass and knowing what tools are needed to conduct an inventory. In part four, I'll discuss how to lay out plots and use the tools we've demonstrated to create an inventory of useful organized data about your forest. For other resources, check out our forest stewardship webpage. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.